The NSLS2 accelerator ring is starting to fill with magnets. They come from all around the world. China, Denmark, New Zealand, Russia, the United Kingdom, and the United States. They also come in different types. Dipoles, quadrupoles, sextipoles, and correctors, all assembled onto girders that will encircle the ring. We start girder assembly with a girder. Magnet supports are installed and magnets placed along the top surface. Cooling water manifolds are next, along with vacuum chamber stands, a magnet positioning fixture, and magnet positioning sensors. We use a laser to align the magnets to within 50 microns of their final position. Then the upper half of each magnet is removed and the vacuum chamber is installed and positioned. The magnet tops are reassembled and we move the girder into a temperature controlled room for final alignment. The magnetic centers of the magnets must be aligned to within 15 microns of each other. That's less than the width of a human hair. To do this, we use a vibrating wire technique to locate the magnetic centers of each magnet. The magnets are positioned precisely and then tightened down. After a final survey, the girder goes to the vacuum area for the installation of vacuum components and a final vacuum inspection. A girder's journey from the assembly building to its position in the accelerator ring takes two hours. The fun part is when it enters the ring building. We float them on air using air casters in addition to dollies. The air casters give us a lot of flexibility because they allow movement in any direction. They also accommodate small changes in the floor's surface. The capacity of these air casters is about 12 tons. Our largest girder weighs in at 10 tons and holds quads, sextipoles, and corrector magnets. The dipoles are installed separately on smaller girders. Installation will be completed by June 2013. By that date, the tunnel will be filled with 150 girders, holding a total of 810 magnets.